Angel. Today we're going to be making Chinese donut, which are these deep fried breadsticks that are really crispy and delicious. In Mandarin, we call this yo tiao. And I am super excited today because I'm going to take my original recipe and make this in an air fryer. So normally they're deep fried, but I kind of want to make a healthier version and try making it in my air fryer. It's only six ingredients, so you guys likely have all these ingredients in your kitchen now. So if you're interested in learning how to make Chinese donut or yo tiao in an air fryer, keep watching. For the ingredients, we'll need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We'll also need half a teaspoon of cane sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of vegetable oil or any other neutral flavored oil, three teaspoons of baking powder. And here's a tip for you guys. You wanna make sure that your baking powder is still fresh and works. And to do that, you can just take one teaspoonful and add some boiling water to it. And if there's a reaction and it starts to bubble, it's still good. And if it's not, then you should stop what you're doing, get new baking powder, and then try the recipe again. And finally, we'll need half a cup of water. So now we're going to mix all the ingredients. I've got a large bowl here, and we're gonna start by measuring out our dry ingredients. So I'm going to start with my flour. We will need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I like to just use a chopstick to kind of give it a nice fluff. This is kind of a little shortcut for sifting. So I'm gonna measure out one and a half cups of flour. Just level it off with my chopstick. Half a cup more. Directly into the bowl. Next, we'll need the cane sugar. We're using half a teaspoon of cane sugar. Three teaspoons of baking powder. And we'll need some salt. And before we add the wet ingredients, I'm just gonna go ahead and sift that together with my chopsticks once again. And this just helps to ensure we mix the dough evenly. Now we'll add our wet ingredients, the oil, and finally our water. Now in this recipe, I'm using half a cup of water here and I literally measured exactly the half a cup on the line. And if you need to add more later, you can. Now we mix everything together and I just like to use a rice paddle for this just because it's kind of a little bit nonstick, but you can definitely use a spatula as well. Give this a good stir and mix that in as well as you can. And then if you need to, if things are looking a little bit crumbly, you can always add a little bit more water. And because I've made this a lot of times in my kitchen, I kind of know the humidity level. I always want to add a splash of water after mixing the half a cup of water in there. Just the splash. So that looks pretty well incorporated. Now we'll just go ahead and knead the dough. I'm just going to flour my cutting board. And put the dough on there. Get a little more flour in my hands. And we can start kneading. Feel free to add a little bit more flour if necessary. Don't add too much, but you'll know if it's super sticky, that that's when you wanna add a little bit more flour, a bit at a time. And we're just going to knead this for about three to five minutes or until the dough is smooth. After a few minutes, your dough should be nice and smooth and it should have a nice texture like this. It should be soft and slightly shiny. Once it's done kneading, transfer it to a bowl and I'm just going to lightly oil my bowl and then rub it with a little paper towel. Or if you have a spray, you can also spray the bowl as well. Then put the dough in the bowl and we're gonna just kind of give it a little bit of a toss. Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll cover this with saran wrap and let this sit in a warm place for about one hour. Now that it's been an hour, we'll want to take the dough out and punch it down. And the reason why we're doing this is to 
punch down any of the gases that are in the dough. And we'll want to do this three or four times, like that. Once you've punched it down, go ahead and reshape that back into a ball. Then put it back in your bowl, cover that back up with saran wrap, and let the bowl sit in the fridge overnight. Now, so we don't have to wait, I have a bowl already prepared from last night that I made. And if you're doing this the night before, make sure to take it out about two to four hours before you actually wanna use the dough. So that way you let the dough come to room temperature. Super important because if you don't do that, then your dough won't rise properly. Now before we roll out our dough, let's preheat the air fryer. And I just wanna say a quick thank you to Kaivo for sponsoring today's video. Kaivo sent me this air fryer that has this really cool transparent window so you can see what's cooking inside and how your food is cooking without having to open the air fryer basket. It's super convenient to check on your food with this transparent window. It's also BPA and PTEF free so you don't have to worry about those chemicals getting into your food. And before you preheat this, make sure that you put the crisper plate in there. And just so you guys know, what's really cool is that the crisper plate and this entire basket is dishwasher safe. For those of you who don't like to hand wash. So I press the on button menu and you notice that there's a preheat option. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that down because it's preheat set to 400. I'm going to turn that down to 360. And then press start and let that preheat. Now we're gonna roll out the dough. So I'm just going to put a little bit of flour on the marble piece. Put the dough on there. Add a little bit of flour to the top, just a light dusting, and then also to the rolling pin as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and roll out the dough. And I'm going for about half an inch thick here. And if you need to, just go ahead and shape it. We're looking for a rectangle. If you can, it doesn't have to be exact. Roll that into a nice rectangle and then we're going to cut them into strips. I'm not even going to use any pressure at all. I'm just gonna use the weight of the marble rolling pin itself to let that roll it out. And here I'm just going to start by trimming the ends off. And we're gonna make one donut out of the ends. If they're not the exact same size, I like to put the larger one on the bottom and the smaller one on top. And to make the Chinese donut or the yo tiao shape that they're normally known for, I'm just gonna take a chopstick, put an indentation there on the bottom one. Then I'm going to take a little bit of water that right in there, just so it kind of acts like a glue to glue these together. Put that piece on top and gently yet firmly push down for the top piece. Now I'll go ahead and make the other pieces. I'm just going to slice this in half. Just like we did with the first one, we will take one on the bottom make an indentation, place this piece on top, and then make an indentation on top. All right, I'm just gonna give my hands a quick wash and then we'll put these in the air fryer. So my air fryer is preheated. I'm just going to add a little bit of avocado oil spray directly into the basket. And then we're going to put in our Chinese donut. I'll do two pieces first. And then we'll spray again with avocado oil. Now we'll put that on the fried chip setting. So go to menu, fried chips, and that's 360 degrees. And we'll go ahead and press start. Now we're gonna give this a quick spray to make it more brown. And what I like about this unit is that it has auto shut off when you pull out the basket and also when it overheats, and then it restarts when you push the basket back in. Let's check in on what it looks like. 
I think they're almost dead. Oh my gosh, they look so good. They're like golden brown. So now I'm just going to transfer them to a wire rack to cool. Not bad for an air fryer, right? And that is how you guys make Chinese donut in an air fryer. I think they turned out really well. They're golden brown and they look really nice. They definitely look like yo tiao to me. A healthier version of it, but let's jump right in and do a taste test. So I actually have one that I cut up here. And I have a bowl of congee that I made earlier. And yo tiao is often eaten with congee or soy milk. So I'm just gonna dip some in here. Wow, not bad for air fryer Chinese donut. Definitely are a little bit denser than original deep fried Chinese donut, but I think they're a really great healthy alternative and definitely something fun to try. I'm Angel, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as my grandpa would say, sharing a meal with a fascinating stranger is one of life's true delights. So until we can share some Chinese donut together, take care, I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.